Today we're looking at the Aohi Adidas Thunderbolt 5 cable. The future is now here, ladies and gentlemen. They sent this to me to try out. It features Thunderbolt 5 speeds of 120 gigabits per second, a plethora of display support in terms of multiple displays. It's compatible with Thunderbolt 4 and 3, works well with your Mac Mini M4 or Mac Studio that features Thunderbolt 5. It's great for AI and VR accelerators can support 240 watts of super power delivery and it features a powerful 16 core coaxial design. First of all, what I love is it solves one of my biggest pet peeves and problems with all cables and that is that all cables are black and they are not labeled and you never know what the heck cable to grab. So for example, this is my bag O cables. And I don't know what's what. I can't tell what's Thunderbolt 4 or 5 or, or USB 2 or 3. It's really hard to tell what is in this bag. And you don't ever know until you grab and pull that cable out and start plugging it in and running speed tests to know exactly what the cable is capable of. And so this cable from Mayohi is pretty sweet. It's 3.3 feet, so it's about this long. And it's also backwards compatible. So Thunderbolt 2 and 3, uh, this thing is compatible with that. It's designed to efficiently connect to your M4 Mac Mini, or if you've got a new M4 Max or M3 Ultra Mac Studio, which is the way I'm going to use this cable. This can also push 240 watts of power. So if you wanted to use this for what they're calling super power delivery, you can use it for that purpose as well. So Thunderbolt 5, if you didn't know, gives you twice the speed of Thunderbolt 4. So instead of 40 gigabits per second, you're going to get 80 and it's bi-directional. So that's pretty sweet. You can drive multiple screens with Thunderbolt 5 technology. Also, this may be the reason why Apple has taken a while to upgrade and update the Apple Studio display because I, I know that the newest display technology from Apple is going to be Thunderbolt 5. So these cables are going to be very ubiquitous for us in the Mac world, I think. All of us that rely on the fastest throughput for our connected peripherals, this cable right here is going to be a game changer for us. I love that it's yellow and that I know exactly which cable to grab if I'm going to grab a Thunderbolt 5 device. And I do love this little rubberized case. They did send these cables to me to try out, but these are my honest opinions on them. And I have to say my honest opinion is the branding is top notch and the build quality is top notch. In my opinion, it's really hard to beat their products. In fact, I was so surprised by the quality of this cable that I looked on their website and discovered they also have a 140 watt charger. And so I bought this guy, which is a little, it's called the Aohi Youth PD 140 watt three port charger. And what I like about it is it's, it's smaller and more compact than, here's the Apple branded 140 watt charger and look how much smaller it is. The Apple charger only has one port. This has two USB-C ports and it has a USB-A port on it. For the last several weeks, this is the charger that I've brought with me when I travel and when I need to work out in the field. It doesn't, like the Apple one is cool because it does have this removable piece here. So if you wanted to add the extension cable, you can. But I don't remember the last time I saw someone have the extension cable, they're always running it this way. I don't remember the last time I did it either, so I've always got mine set up in this fashion. Besides being a bit heavier than the Apple one, it's very well made and I love the yellow color. I just know where it is and what to grab when I'm running out the door. So yeah, you could use these together if you were really close to a wall socket. You could use this with this charger, but this is only three feet, three and 3.3 feet. So what I do is I use my, the uh, MagSafe black charger that came with my MacBook Pro. Just browsing their website, I thought they had some really great solutions and some great products, and so I wanted to support them. This cable, I just have to say, you have to look at this very closely, but man, the build quality on this is so nice, and the, the ends of this Thunderbolt 5 cable are just very well made. I do have a four terabyte SSD in here. This is my Zyke drive 
that I did a review on, and I'll leave a link in the corner about this drive. This drive only supports Thunderbolt 4, which is 40 gigabits per second, and so I did pick up this guy, which is a nice external enclosure. I'll leave a link down below for this. This is a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure, and it was the cheapest one I could find. It's on Amazon, and it's from a company called Wavelink. I'll put a link in the description for this guy, but it is an 80 gigabit per second NVMe enclosure. And so what we're gonna do is transfer the drive that's in my Zyke drive to this drive and then run a test. So I already, I already did a speed test on the drive in this enclosure at Thunderbolt 4 speeds. So we'll swap it over and put it in here. What I like about this enclosure, this thing is as is, is easy as it gets for installing an NVMe. It's literally a magnetic top that pulls apart and you can load the drive in there and then you can stick the magnetic lid back on. So just like that, this thing would be done aside from putting the NVMe drive in it. Let's actually do that right now. I've moved the drive over to the Thunderbolt 5 enclosure as you can see. Installed inside here, this is the Samsung 990 Evo Plus. So it's four terabytes. Go ahead and seal this drive up in the Thunderbolt 5 enclosure. And now I'm gonna use my trusty AOHI Thunderbolt 5 cable from the Mac Studio. So let's plug this in. All right, Black Magic is here. Let's select the four terabyte 990 Evo. And there we go. With Thunderbolt 5 speeds, we are getting 6,000 write speed and we're getting a read speed of about 5,500 plus on the read speed. So this is blazing fast and, oh, it just went over 6,000 on the right the right speed, so that's very fast. Thunderbolt 5 is the way to go. I highly recommend picking up the AO high cables. I'll leave links down below for all of that stuff. We really are in the future when we have cables as fast as this from AO high. Thunderbolt 5 is now within our reach. When paired with this awesome power brick as well, there's just great products available here and I'll leave links down below for all of that, there's also a discount code today for you guys. It's Johnny MC Pro 15 off. If you use that discount code on their website, you can get another 15% off on anything on their website. So again, links down below for all of that. And I'm really impressed with this enclosure as well. I've been running that test for a while and there's absolutely no heat. It feels cool to the touch. The drive is performing well along with that cable. So be sure to use that discount code I just told you about to get another 15% off. Check out all of their products. Use my links down below. And if this is your first time to my channel and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and ring that bell down below to get notified when I drop new content and I'll see all of you guys on my next video.